Hello and welcome to another episode of Kit Plus TV, where we get the guests in to give you a bit more inside information from the people that make this industry work. Yeah, the industry has changed considerably over the last few years and in no other area more than networking, media transport and IP being introduced into the game. Yeah, and there's a few companies out there that stand out in their field that have been leading the evolution and working with fellow technologists to deliver network solutions for video, audio and comms. Most recently, Riedel acquired Embryonics, a market leader in the manufacture of SFP video interfaces, connecting fiber, SDI, HDMI, IP, and various other legacy coaxial signals. Yeah, and here to tell us a little bit more about all of that is René Lavoie from Riedel, all the way from Canada. Welcome to the show, René. Thank you very much for having me at Kit Plus TV. It's a pleasure. Um, yeah, thank you very much. You're very welcome. So um, tell us a little bit more about how Embryonics has become part of the Riedel family. So um, it's a long story, but um, I will summarize it in this, um, in this topic. So we, uh, as you mentioned, Matt, we were specialized in SFP, uh, connecting SDI, HDMI. And basically about mm. a year ago, just prior to the acquisition, we were starting to think about the future. And as everyone knows now, and it's really more clear with the COVID crisis that things were moving to IP. And one missing block of, let's say, embryonics was basically the control system and also the audio side of things. So we were puzzling ourselves or questioning ourselves about what the next step for us. Um, so we were looking at two sides. So of course, looking at increased uh, organically or by acquisition, and also looking at what I call um, a, a bigger brother, someone that is in, in the market has the same mentality as us, uh, but really helping us to grow this company. Um, an example, we were four salespeople in embryonics, and now with real, we are about 40. So we were looking at that and saying, yeah. what do we have to invest to get there, or it's a better path, or it's a better, I, I, at the end of the day, for our customers and for customer free all. So we said, yeah, maybe they, there's the time for us to, to find a, a bigger house, if I can say this way. So have, has Embryonics been working with Riedel for a while? Has you, have your products been part of the, let's say the MediaNet or Riedel ecosystem already? Are they already part of the system? Yeah. Yes, that's a really good question. And, and the answer is yes. Uh, Riedel was a long term, uh, long time customer um, and also they were really um, active and, and, and getting our, our products in their the media, media net. Um, the other thing is they did not have any, um, um, not any, but they didn't have the same offering in the video over IP that we had, like 2110, 2022. And we really saw each other, each other's product in, um, in big uh, world-class uh, events. So we were seeing each other uh, starting collaborating on a, also on an um, um, a interop level and also in, in the AMWA. So if you're uh, aware, um, Riedel did uh, what they call the Explorer in ISO 4, ISO 5, which is the AMWA, the mm -hmm. um, kind of control system and registry and discovery. And uh, we were starting already to collaborate. So that kind of fu fusion more the um, uh, or crystallized really the relation. IP is, of course, rapidly becoming the norm, but SDI um, is by all means, no, no means dead, despite what some people say, which makes many, if not all, networks hybrid systems. Uh, how is MediaNet dealing with this situation? Yeah, it's a, it's a really, really good point. You know, when I started uh, Embryonics 10 years ago, a little bit more than 10 years, people say, oh, don't touch coax, coax is dead, it's will be fiber, uh, you're you're losing time, You're and and honestly, um, we, we ship, pro we ship ab about 700,000 SFP in the market just for SDI. Um, and probably like half of it is, 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 is coax. So to answer your question, no, SDI is far from dead. We'll see it a lot yeah. again for a long time. Um, the media net, the, on the TDM side, so, so the media net will really do the gateways. They already did this gateway a long time ago. Um, when we started the MediaNet IP, so the SAFP and the fusion that you have as, as a background of your show, um, we really started with the gateway. That's the thing to do. You look any other industries, they will do gateways from a standard to another. So that's 
kind of the glue you need to do. And then we kind of evolve that and we say, let's do IP to IP. But another in interesting things we're doing today is taking an SDI and going, let's say, JPEG access. And the reason for that is, let's say you have cameras. It's not because IP is new that your SDI, it's a little bit older, right? But it's not meaning that it's bad and you have to throw it away. So you no, want to... No, to no. Yeah, and with all, everything moving in the market, you really want to make sure that you're, um, you really have your return on investment. So cameras are expensive. Um, and you don't want to, let's say, throw them away and change everything for because there's a new standard. You will always change. Look, um, there's the 400 gig and 800 gig switch coming in, but you will not throw the 125 gig away. That's make no sense. Of course, you will evolve there, but it's take time. Yeah, and I think I wonder whether what you just said might be part of the reason for, for, for this. Now, we recently saw that Riedel's MediaNet was integrated into Game Creek's mobile production units in, in, in the US. How's that progressing? And, you know, uh, give some background into their decision to, to go with your product. Um, really interesting, interesting um, use cases. Um, the Game Creek guys were looking to reduce the number of connections um, and they are not the only one, by the way. So they said we have, yeah. um, I think it's 128 fibers between trucks and between other players. And they say, geez, this is too much. It's too long to set up. There's failure blocks mm -hmm. there. Um, and fiber can be sometimes super fragile. So they said, can we reduce that to a really, really cool number and a small number? So with the fusion boxes they used, first, they reduced the, the footprint in their own, their OB van. Um, and secondly, they reduce the number of fiber from 128 to eight. So they really shrink. Um, and, and, and for them, it was a tremendous amount of saving time, reducing risk. Um, yeah. So, so this is the story with, with Game Creek. Um, and they are not the only one. The, the really cool thing with that is, um, I don't know if you, you, some, I'm sure you guys saw that in the past. You have this rack. Uh, for a show, and they have like 120, 200, 300 is the eye to plug in. But with just yeah. the, the switch itself, a 100 gig, it's a one connection. Of course, you will do the redundancy, but you have two connections replacing a huge amount. Um, if you look at the Virtue, um, this is another product, product, product we're, we're pushing in the market. The Virtue will enable you to do 64 UHD, um, uh, conversion, let's say gateway. So let's say you have 12 gig SDI, you can do 64. You have only eight QSFP to plug for these 64. You will plug 16 yeah. if you do redundant network, but you, you can also see that this frame, it's about one rack unit. So one rack unit will give you 64 gateways, um, 64 JPEG access as well. So, so this is kind of the um, improvement, I have to say, that, that the industry need, we need to minimize or set up time. Because with the new technology, yeah. everything is going really quickly. Before we let you go, um, we did pre-warn you about this, uh, this question, yeah. since we're an industry yeah. about people and relationships. We've been asking all of our guests to tell us something about themselves that we, especially us, maybe not even your colleagues at Riedel, because they're quite new, don't already know about you. Okay, and um, uh, and I will I will tell you two quick things. The first one is um, Ambronics is my fourth company that I started, um, and uh -huh. the first company I started was a company for um, for gaming, for online gaming on audio side of things. So it's really interesting. Okay. The guys in in Rito talked about their codec they're using in Polero. And I can really uh, go back in time and say, yeah, I was using the same for my audio, um, uh, like a okay. voice of right gaming stuff. That's fantastic. Oh, yeah. Well, thank you for everyone watching today. Thanks to Renoir from Real for coming on the show. To see all of our video interviews and kit reviews, then head over to Kit Plus TV, which is brought to you with the support of Media Proxy. And you can find out more about them at mediaproxy.com. Thanks for watching. <laughs>